So you just got yourself a brand new website set up. Fantastic. You're pretty excited. Things are rocking and rolling for you. Problem is, does Google have any idea you even exist yet? Is your website indexed? Let me explain what that means. What's up there guys, Izzy here once again with Do It Yourself SEO, where I help contractors and home service businesses understand search engine optimization and getting their websites found for the services that they provide in their areas. And on this quick video, I wanna talk about something that a lot of people don't really talk about. It's something called indexing websites and website pages. So what exactly does indexing mean? Let's say you just built a website for your specific business. I'm gonna use this one as an example because I recently built it for a couple that does cleaning services here where I live and they wanted me to create a website for them. So once you create this website, even though you create it, you create the pages, the service pages, all the content and everything and hit it live and it's out there out uh, live online, that doesn't mean that Google has picked it up. I mean, you could still send that link to somebody and somebody will take a look at it. You could put it, you know, send it as an email, people will find that website, but Google often will not index this website for sometimes a few days, weeks, months, sometimes even, you know, even up to like months and months, because I'm sure it's a system that's consistently running and always indexing pages. And if a page is not useful to index it's to Google, it's not even going to index it. So what exactly does indexing mean? So indexing means that try to imagine Google's search engine as a gigantic filing cabinet. You pull out a drawer of a filing cabinet and there's nothing but files in there, right? Imagine all those files being specific web pages for a particular search term, right? If you create your website, sometimes your website is not in that drawer. Sometimes that website, your website, your filing, you know, your website and your page is just sitting onto the site, it's sitting out in the ether. It's not in the index of Google. So for example, if I go onto Google right now and I type in Pass Robles House Cleaning Services, as soon as I type that in, what Google's whole system does, what the search engine does is creates a filing cabinet for that specific search term, Pass Robles House Cleaning or House Cleaning Type Services. And what Google does, it takes every single page that it has in its index and files it accordingly to that specific search term. So if you have a website that you've created, even though it's optimized for that particular search, if it's not in that filing cabinet, it's not indexed, your website's still not going to show up. So how exactly do you index your website? Well, when you create a website, my theory is if you create a really good website, you follow all the rules that I always talk about, you know, the, the title tags, SEO, all that, the content, everything, eventually with time, Google will finally pick up your website, just leave it and naturally it will take place. The crawlers grow out there. And eventually we'll find your website, crawl it, know what you want to be found for, for that specific search, and eventually we'll index it. Sometimes it doesn't index every single page. Some, most of the time it'll just index the, the home page, and it'll take a while before it starts to index the rest of the pages. So what are the, some of the things you can do to make sure that your website, when you create it, it's indexed? First of all, the first thing you got to find out is if it's indexed in the first place. So one way to find out is to visit your website. Let's say you just created your website, right? You go to your website. Here's your domain address, right? Just go in here, cut this part out here and put in site, semicolon, then your domain name. So what you're doing with this is you're telling Google, Google, I want to know how many pages uh, you have on your, in the index, how many of these pages are in your filing cabinet, even though this website has, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight pages. From what I could see here, Google has only indexed one, right? Still, that's better than nothing, but it's been about a month and a half and it still has not indexed the rest. Now, these people haven't hired me for any of the SEO or any of that stuff. I just built their site. If they wanted me to do SEO, there's some particular things I would do in order to speed up the indexing process. So what do I do? Well, one of the first things, every time I built a site and whenever you get somebody to build your website or you're building your website yourself, make sure all your pages are interlinking within each other's pages, right? Because as the crawlers go through your website, they'll read this website and they'll start to see any links that you've created on your website. For instance, with this one, we created a link that goes straight into their, 
vacation rental cleanouts in Paso Robles, right? So eventually the crawlers will go through here and eventually pick, pick up that link pointing to this page and it'll start to crawl this page, right? Same with this business offices, right? They click on here and go straight to the office cleaning services, right? So by creating all these linking within the pages, you're gonna you're giving Google a chance to crawl it and read it and start to see the link and visit this page. It'll start to crawl this page too. And then what I usually do is create links within links, links within pages, one page, one service page goes to another, one service page goes to another, things like that. So this one goes to this page. This page will link to another page. Let's see if I have a link here. Don't see it on here. And then I always have create, uh, create a link that goes right back to the home page. So you're linking within pages, linking within pages and that helps to crawl your website. If you do it correctly, it'll help speed it up. And naturally you just kind of just leave it for the most part. I just believe in just leaving the website and eventually Google will just do its thing and crawl it. But if you're being a little impatient, you want to speed up the process. Those are some of the things that you need to do. The second thing you need to do is a little more technical, but I'm sure you guys exactly how to do that. The next way I've learned to index web websites a lot faster. It's a little more technical. I hope I don't bore you guys to tears, but this is basically how you do it. So when I create websites, uh, well, before I begin, I've noticed that Wix, if you're building a website with Wix, the Wix has some system or something in place where it kind of does this for you. So that's one of the plus sides of Wix. I still prefer WordPress, but that's a, it's a big uh, um, shout out to Wix for doing something like that. But when it comes to WordPress, I always install something called Yoast SEO, right? When you go to Yoast SEO, it's a, it's a pretty cool tool. It helps people that don't even know about SEO, how to structure a website so to help them with SEO. I'll go into it some other day to show people about that. But you go into the plugin called Yoast SEO, right? You go to the general and you go into the settings part. And then there's always a little thing over here with a little pirate, if I remember correctly. There he is, XML sitemap, right? And you pick up this code right here. I know it sounds really, really technical. So basically what the sitemap is, as far as I can understand it and explain it, it's like, here's my, here's my website. Here's all my pages here, at Google. This is how I structured it. This is my home page. This is my about page. This is my service pages. That's how I structured it. That's, this is how the website's supposed to flow. Here you go. Take it, index it for me. That's basically what it is. So this is the file that you're going to send to Google, right? So it's right here, page, you save, you copy and save that link, right? Next thing you want to do is go into Google search, Google search console, create an account with Google search. I already have an account because I have tons of websites that I do the SEO for people. So that's on here. So I'm adding a new one, right? It's going to say, let me copy this really quick. Let's say add a property. So I'm going to add a property, the URL prefix. So basically that website's URL hit continue. It's going to give me a code that I need to put onto my website to verify that I have ownership or I can control that website, right? Add some meta information to it. It's going to give you a code. You copy that code. Now you go back to this website, right? You got to install another plugin. I go to the plugins, install plugin. Install another plugin, header code. Let me, let me spell this correctly. And you could add any of these right here. I just use this one, install this. Activate it. And now you're gonna see it right here, code snippets, header footer. Here's the header code you need to put in there. Paste it, save it. Now go back to the Google search console and verify it. Bam, now Google knows I own and control that website or I have control of it. Go to the property, there you go. Now it's gonna ask you for that sitemap. Remember what I said, this is just the way I explain it. This is the structure of your website. Here, Google, here's my website. So you go to that part that says sitemaps. Click on there. And you remember that code that I told you to save, this one here. 
just copy all of that and you put that in here just the last part of it you don't need the whole thing sitemap xml submit Google will period out your process and look for changes, blah, 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 blah. Got it. There you go. Now Google knows that I have 10 pages. I've just sent it to them. So they're going to index it. Sometimes they still don't index it. It's whatever the hell they feel like doing it. But that's one of the ways that you do it to speed up the process to get your website indexed. So every time I build a website for somebody and if they want me to do their SEO or I you know, give them tips, I always index their website just to speed up the process. You don't have to. Some of these websites, I don't even... You know, some websites, I don't do any SEO. Um, Google just eventually picks them up. It'll just index them on its own because the information is useful on the site. And then eventually it'll start to pick it up and, and rank on, on Google. So just for example, this website, I think it finished it about 45 days ago. House cleaning past robles. I'm mean, I've done no other SEO. Granted, this area is not very big. One, two, three, four, five, six, number seven on the search results. And their business listing eventually will start help pushing that up. As long as they get the reviews, they're going to be able to uh, do very well with just that website that, that I built. So that's what page indexing on Google means. So basically, a filing cabinet, You're, when you have a brand new website it's just sitting on the desk, it's not inside Google's filing cabinet. So what you're trying to do is put it in the filing cabinet, put it in the index. So when somebody looks up that search term for your business, you're at least in that filing cabinet so they can find you and give you a call for whatever service that you're providing. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Some information about indexing. If you guys want to know more about the services I provide, I do it yourself tutorials I have and the services I provide, all that stuff's in the description below. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.